I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. In the last episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard headed to the planet of Vermeer, one of the last story worlds that she could go to, and she was able to save the life of Erdnot Rex. She also sent Caden with Captain Kirahe as they assault Saren's base. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Mistledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. We are nearing the end of this series, and in this episode, we are going to tackle the rest of Verminer. And this one, my friends, is a big episode. If you've never seen Mass Effect, you've never played Mass Effect before, this is an episode you aren't going to want to miss. If you have played it before... Uh, well, let's see how different my playthrough is. So, let's jump into it. We are level 28. We have quite a ways to go until level 29 and even longer to get to level 30. But I think we can do it. Anyways, we're going to head out. We have our squad of Erd Not Rex, who we saved in the last episode. And Tally, who looks awesome in that orange Quarian armor. I really, really like it. So, we've cleared everything that we could do by this garage area. And the only thing that we have left for us is we need to take this elevator upstairs which is what we're gonna do and i'm sure we're gonna be facing a lot more enemies this episode is going to be jam-packed so as soon as we come in here we'll see a lot of pus a wetware kit let's go ahead and grab that real quick oh yeah i like that you know yeah all right so we have a few options here you'll actually see that there's a scientist over there as well as somebody else behind them that we can't really see and a bunch of hus here now, this is a trap. You can investigate the stasis council, but uh, all it's going to do is send these husks after you. So instead, we're going to see if we can walk over here. And unfortunately, we are immediately attacked by the Dr. Droyes, who we're going to eliminate incredibly quickly thanks to the use of our team and this Asari scientist who we are also going to attack. Hopefully get a good carnage out on him and maybe get two carnages out that would be even gnarlier getting two hits out we're gonna go ahead and singularity this husk put it into the air and see if we can take down the asari scientist that seems to be there we go scientist almost down hopefully be able to i don't think so oh thank god we had barrier let's go ahead and put the scientist down as soon as possible Get out of my face. Go help them take down these husks. Luckily, they both have shotguns, so they're able to do a pretty considerable amount of damage. We have another husk that seems to just be hanging out stuck. You'll love to see it. Free XP, baby. Free XP. Unfortunately, you can't use this now. We already did it. And it looks like there's some more enemies outside that we're going to need to deal with. But we're going to explore this room a little bit. There's nothing really that we can grab, but apparently that was the doctor that's been working on the genophage cure. In the back here, we can grab a medical station. We'll go ahead and decrypt that. For some trash. <laughs> it's fine. At lo as, as, as long as we get XP, I I'm pretty happy with it. So, we only have one way we can go, which is out here. And we did see on our sensors that there were two enemies out here. So, we're going to see if we can take them down this way. All it is is two geth troopers. So, let's go. We're actually going to toss this one right out of here, and he's automatically dead. And then we're going to see if we can lift this one. Perfect. And without doing too much, we're just going to throw him. What up? Bye, yeah. And, 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 and he's out of here. <laughs> Look at his gun still falling. <laughs> Anyways, we can continue on here. My friends, we're about to get some big story reveals. Rana Thanoptis stuck under Don't her desk. Don't shoot! Please, Step I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Rana Thanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? 
full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Not yet. I want to know about your research. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Interesting. And this mystery isn't going to remain a mystery for too long. Just you wait. So that's all that we can get from her when we investigate. But we do have a few choices here. And she deserves to be go free. I'm going to blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! I like the way you think, Shepard. Thank you, Rex. Appreciate you. So just like that, we were able to let Rana Thananapalabops go, which is what we wanted to do. So we need to override this. Because it's XP and items, and that's what I want. That's what I'm here for. And we only have one other way that we can go, which is down here. There's no enemies. Look at how cool this place is. This facility is much bigger than it looks when you first walk in. And we have an exclamation mark, which means that we need to head down this elevator here and see what awaits us. Go ahead and open this door. My friends, as we come in here, we will find... Shepard, look over here. Exactly. It's another Tally. beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. This one seems way more intact, so let's investigate. Shepard has officially seen some shit. This Prothean beacon stays intact and doesn't explode, but if we look up, it looks like a new VI interface has appeared. My friends, get ready for the reveal. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Uh the ship sovereign isn't just some reaper ship saren found it's an actual reaper reaper a label created by the protheans 
means to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Nope. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. I remember the first time I saw this conversation, that was it. I was in love with Mass Effect. We are each a nation. I think that's going to be important. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. All of the windows explode as the force of Sovereign heads towards us. Absolutely wild. That entire conversation just so cool. Who would have thought that a machine could wax so poetic? And there you go. The reveal. The real enemy of the entire Mass Effect series has just been revealed to us. And as we come outside, we are going to be attacked by... A Geth Destroyer, who will go ahead and just annihilate because useless. Haha. <laughs> Sounds like our Salarian teams with Kaden Alenko is having some trouble, so let's see if we can get to them as soon as possible and help them out. Let's see if we can also get Tally some health there because she's looking a little rough. And as we come out here, we'll find three Krogan. This looks like a spot for barrier if I've ever seen one. And also looks like a spot for Marksman and another Carnage.
One Krogan down, moving on to the others. One in the very end there, which should be just fine. We're going to go ahead and damping on this one. And took it down. Nice job, Tally. One left. As it charges, we're going to go ahead and throw it. Get out of my face, buddy. See, this Krogan just it knocked all around. Sucks to be you, guy. We got a job to do. Thank you, Rex. Continuing through deeper into the breeding facility, it's time to set a nuke. And uh, get rid of all chances of the genophage being cured. Really, really sorry about that, by the way, Rex. Anyways, we can come down here and grab some crates and some things that need to be decrypted. And with that, we only have one place that we can go, which is up here. And I recommend saving before you get up here. Because this can be a pretty challenging spot. Full of one-shot mechanics. As we approach, we'll see that there is a sniper ghost up there that we want to deal with as well as a Krogan that we also want to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and throw out a singularity on this ghost here. Hopefully take it out before it becomes a problem or this stalker, I should say. It's down and then this other one here, we're going to go ahead and put to a stasis so that we can go ahead and finish it off. And this Krogan we can actually deal with pretty easily. He's charging us. We can just go ahead and lift him in the sky. Get out of here, bud. And finally, we can just... Toss him out of here. See ya! Wouldn't want to be a Krogan warrior. You ever seen a you ever seen a frog fly? Anyways. <laughs> and right over here, we're going to deal with some Geth rocket drones. I highly recommend using Tally's sabotage so that you don't have to deal with them hitting you. One down, two to go. And only one remains. Go ahead and sabotage yet again. This way, it doesn't actually hit you with any rockets. And all the drones are dead. Goodbye, drones. There's nothing that we can get down here. Except for this small little upgrade kit. And this crate. I say there's nothing, but there's there was two. Ignore, ignore that. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> if we come up here, we'll see that there is a supply container we can open. As well as a turret, which is what we're here to do is shut that down. And on this side, we actually have a weapons locker. That's why we're here. We're here to shut down the AA towers. So that we can get some friends to incoming. Unfortunately, we're going to be attacked by some geth as they... Try to converge on our position. We should be totally okay. We'll go ahead and pop yet another sabotage here. So that this rocket trooper doesn't attack us. And the elevator will also open. We'll actually pop a singularity in there. And a big overload. And maybe a carnage as well. Just to help deal with those. Nice job. Only one left. There we go. All down. Let's go ahead and use this elevator. And right in front of us, we have an aid station, which is actually going to be kind of useful because we did pop a couple medis. That's it. We need to clear the and as we come out, charges. we have even more enemies. A bunch of Geth Stalkers waiting for us. Luckily for us, we're in adept, so we can just use Singularity and Stasis whenever we can. Deal with these guys, no problem. You know... These, uh, these most annoying enemies in the game actually don't really become an issue when you're an adept. Makes it very, very easy. Continuing on, there's no items behind any of these. Sounds like the Solarian STG and Caden are having some issues. We'll get to this area here. Look around, we'll see a ton of cover, which probably means... Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Perfect. The gun was gone. It was there, and now it's gone. We actually missed the animation for that. Normandy flying overhead, which means that we have a job to do. So, we can't go anywhere here. There's the Normandy. Nice job, Joker. 
And whoever you didn't send with Captain Kirahe is actually going to be the one that has the bomb here. In our case, Ashley. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. And we'll take a party of Urbnot Rex and Talizora Naraya. This I highly recommend as a party. You could take Garrus with you as well. He would be very useful right now. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. I know Liara seems like a good uh, squad mate to have here, especially when you're talking to that uh, the the Reaper Sovereign. Um, however, she actually doesn't say anything unique. She shared whatever T Tally said is also what she would have said. So we're going to go forward with uh, this squad here. Trust me, we have a boss fight coming up, one of the hardest so far. And we're going to want somebody that can deal with Geth. There's our team, Ashley, working on the bomb. Must be a little stressful, the Normandy taking off. We need to go see if we can help our dear friend, Kaden Olenko and Captain Kirahe, as they take down some, 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 some Geth menaces. Now, we actually have a bunch of enemies here that we're going to have to deal with, including some Geth ghosts, which are pretty scary. But even worse than that is the enemy that you'll see in the back there, a Krogan Warlord. Incredibly strong Krogan. We'll go ahead and toss this guy out of here as he tries to face us. Hopefully take him down before it becomes a problem. Krogan down. We still have this Geth Ghost to deal with. We'll go ahead and lift it into the air. But should hopefully still be perfect. Another Krogan has attacked. We'll go ahead and get that out of there before it destroys our love. Pally. Keeping this one down as long as possible. And all that's left is the Krogan Warlord in the back. These guys can be incredibly dangerous. So we want to see if we can do what we always do. Big ass stasis with a warp and a marksman. Let's go ahead and finish off this incredibly nasty enemy like he's nothing. Get out of my face, guy. We need to go rescue some Solarians and Caden. Heading out here, it doesn't look like there's any items we can grab, unfortunately. But we're about to get a call that's going to change the fate of this game. After we get this crate, of course. Recommend saving before you head up here. Let's continue on. Damn. Yeah, they're sending in reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! My friends, one of the biggest decisions you can make throughout the entire Mass Effect series is right now. Are you going to rescue Ashley? And make sure that bomb goes off. Or are you going to rescue Caden? Now, whoever you sent with Captain Kirahe, if you don't go to them, Captain Kirahe and the Solarian team dies as well. So, we are going to go rescue Caden. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Just like that, Ashley's fate is sealed. Let's move on. See if we can rescue Caden. Right as we go down here, there's actually another uh, weapons locker that we can grab. We can almost miss that one, actually. Grab this aid station. 
and use this elevator and prepare for a one heck of a boss fight, my friends. As we come out, we'll see a ton of geth over here, which is why we ended up choosing the incredibly strong Tally, who can AI hack all of these geth and keep us looking pretty sharp as we see him just completely annihilate one of the other destroyers. This is going to be incredibly useful. We can't hold these things off much longer. Watch the corners. Suppressing fire. Kaden and Kirahei at the top of this area here. Still trying to work on as many as we can. Throwing the shock trooper. Overloading its shields. Taking down the other shock trooper that we can see in the back there. That's all of them down. We can see the Solarian team is here as well as Captain Kirahei. And Saren himself. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You have been indoctrinated, my Sovereign's guy. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. So we have an option here. You'll see that if your Intimidate is high enough, you can say Sovereign will betray you, or if your Charm is high enough, you can try to get him to join you. It's not going to have an immediate effect, as you'll see, but doing this is actually pretty important. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The 
only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines, and in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. This is why I absolutely love Saren as a villain. He is so convinced that what he is doing is right, no matter what. And you have to appreciate that for some in some way, right? So, we're a bunch of Geth are going to come down. Saren is an enemy that we can attack right now, but we are going to deal with the waves of Geth first. Because, hey, free XP. A destroyer runs in, absolutely setting everything off here. We're going to see if we can help our Krogan friend before it's too late. Get a carnage out. And down goes the destroyer. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hi AI hack that one because we were already AI hacking something else. But this is what we want to do. We also want to watch out for Saren. Make sure there is always something solid in between you and Saren because he will shoot rockets at you over and over and over. And we do not want to get rocketed to the face. That is a no bueno. Now, he is immune to throws and everything else, but you can still put him in a stasis and do some considerable damage there. So, as he's in a stasis, we'll go ahead and pump some damage into him. We got more Geth that landed. We're going to see if we can... AI hack one of these. Taking down as many Geth as we can while hopefully not getting smacked too hard by Saren. Overloads, of course, do work on Saren, so you can keep that up. We want to keep taking down all of the Geth that we possibly can. Let's go ahead and throw him into another stasis here, just to prevent him from rocket launching anything, while we go ahead and take out some more of his Geth. That looks to be like all of the Geth that we can take out, but more are going to land, including some snipers in the back. Go ahead and retreat into the back. Our powers were sabotaged, so we need to be a little bit careful here, wa watching out for Saren's rocket launchers and our own health here. Barrier about to come off cooldown, so we can use that. Of course, we do have more Geth that we need to take care of. Only Saren remains. All of the other Geth are down. Let's see if we can take him down. He's looking a little, a little low on health. Down goes Saren. Everybody, hang on! And just like that, Ashley Williams. I can't Williams believe gone. that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. 
She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Did you see her eyes when she stood up? Terrifying. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. This time, we know where to go. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Uh, Liara, you've already seen the exact... Oh, yeah, Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... A distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Then we have we to go. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Yeah, that's not going to stop me. The conduits on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Okay. Get out of here, that here. girl. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Yeah, that's a good idea. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. You know, 
I don't blame them. I, it sounds crazy, right? To For them to be like, hey, no, the Reapers aren't a threat. But honestly, I don't blame them for anything that they're saying. So, we have a new mission now, Race Against Time, Sovereign. You've discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a Reaper called Sovereign. A sapient? Finally, they say sapient instead of sentient. Warship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleashing a new Reaper invasion on the galaxy. So, we report to the Council to warn them of Sovereign's plan to attack the Citadel by finding the conduit. That's their plan. We... Don't really have much left. All that we have here, we finished the things that we could do on Vermeer. Kira, Kira Hayes' team has been rescued. The Salarians paid a terrible price during the assault, but we were able to rescue Captain Kira Hay and a few of his men before leaving Vermeer. And of course, we convinced Rex uh, not to go against us, and we didn't have to put him down. So let's continue out here. And <clears throat> so let's continue out. And as always, we're going to check in with everybody on our squad. And of course, with the loss of Ashley. Well, unfortunately, people might not be too happy on the ship. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Absolutely, Joker. Absolutely. You know, at least in this situation, Ashley, and part of the reason why I made the decision I did is because Ashley's been living in the shadow of what her grandfather did all those years ago in the Shansi Rebellions. And now she, with her, with her death, was able to reclaim some of that honor for the Williams family, and that's that's a pretty powerful thing. Let's check in with Caden. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coups? I vowed to do better, which I literally have tattooed on my arm. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Absolutely. Hey, let's check in. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. Such a good line. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. Great. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Thanks for the chat. Lieutenant Alenko. I'm glad you made it, man. I'm glad you made it. I'll, I'll be honest. That's actually my first time ever saving Caden. By the way. Just, just throwing that out there. Let's check in with Liara, see how she's feeling. Our love. Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. I feel like this is the You're same conversation it ha Chakwas every time after revision. Doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Same. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. 
Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye, Liara. Very interesting. I agree. I also feel bad for Saren. I mean, anybody that's indoctrinated, which he clearly is, is you know, that, that's that got to be the awful. Especially if they're aware of that. Anyways, let's talk to Garrus, see if he's got any input for us. Commander, I wanted to thank He does I don't not. Have time for this. Oh. Good Sorry. Work. Sorry to be rude, bud. Looking and unfortunately, Ashley's locker is gone. Ashley is gone. Rex, how you doing, bud? Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. Absolutely, so Rex. So long, Rex. Shepard. And Captain Kirahe and his, uh... His entourage, this is all that made it. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. What'd I tell you guys? Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Oh, I think we will, Captain Kire. I think we my will. Superior... You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. And that's it from them. Let's check in with Tally, who I don't think is going to have anything new to say. And I was right. She does not. But hey, let's head back. And use the galaxy map. See what happens next. And? I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I'm surprised to hear that. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. And no matter what, you are going back to the Citadel, which is why I said Vermeyer is kind of a point of no return. Because once you get to the Citadel and you leave it, you cannot come back to it. We are in the final hours of the game, my friends. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Seren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. I don't think so. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Then what about the Conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Then send me. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you do not. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! 
It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Udina just made an enemy out of me. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Uh, were you just listening? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. So we'll take a party of Liara Tassoni and Caden Alenko with us. So, in the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Corey Shepard is going to head to Flux to see what the captain has to say. But meanwhile, we are grounded here on the Citadel. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. It was a big one. Uh, unfortunately, seeing the loss of Ashley, we don't have a choice. One of them has to die. We don't. We can't do it. And unfortunately, we uh, we had to go with the the guy who is as as uh, exciting as white bread and mayonnaise. Uh, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, that is who that is who we're choosing for this run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. So we have a few more episodes in the next one. Uh, we're going to hopefully finish everything that we can do on the Citadel as we are sent out into what is beyond. And we do have the Bring Down the Sky DLC that still needs to be completed. So we are going to do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. The series ends this week if you're watching in the premieres. So uh, huge shout out to you guys every almost every day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Huge shout out to those of you on Patreon.com slash Missile Online, by the way. Uh, I would not be able to do this series if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Sovereign. Bye, everyone.